what is up everybody welcome back to the channel uh shout out to sheena sheena um i don't know where the hell you found me sheena to tell you the truth i don't know if it was youtube or facebook but um i noticed a um a book sale you know a couple of days ago so she ended up buying my book and and shout out yeah super shout out to sheena because a few days ago actually i think of, i think about a week ago i actually dropped a video um regarding hacking me and regarding you know going through my funnel to see the process right and 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 see you know what the, what the thank you page looks like to experience what my follow up email series you know looks like just to kind of give you an example for for yourself right because that simple model applies to so many different things um and i think it was a video on how to capture leads i think that that was the video so that was a few a few days back how to capture leads on social media and so I put my link in the description. She ended up hacking me. She ended up buying my book, a few bucks, right? Um, totally worth it to hack somebody, five bucks, you know, shit, you know? And so I think it might've been, might have been that, that way. She found me through that YouTube video. She bought the book. She ended up scheduling an appointment with me because on the thank you page, that's where there's a video of me, you know, getting you to schedule an appointment. So the stuff that I preach, you guys, I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's what I do on a day to day to build my business. And so shout out to Sheena. She went through that process. She ended up scheduling an appointment. And then, um, you know, something came up where, where we couldn't jump on a call. And um, so she emailed me her questions instead. And she has some good questions here. So I just thought I'd kind of share them with everybody and, and get them answered. So all you guys can kind of learn, you know, my, my thought process and, and how I've been doing it for the past few years. So if you're new to the channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. Now I'm taking my knowledge, putting it into digital courses, and now scaling that and teaching people how to fish rather than having to fish for them, right? So I'm super fired up about affiliate marketing, super fired up about building a YouTube channel. And so this question, these questions, I should say, have to do with clients and building an agency so i'm assuming sheena is building an agency um and so i'm going to just address these questions answer these questions best i can and kind of just kind of you know show you what what i would have done or what i do do right for clients so let's kind of start with with question number one um i am operating let, let me highlight it highlight this okay cool so i'm operating as a marketing professional that works as a boutique service type business but on my own, offering PR, video production, content creation help for small businesses. A prospective client asked if I could create for them several FB business pages and then transfer them over to a member of their team to manage. Okay, let's start, let's start with that. Okay, so asked if I could create, let's start with that. If I could create for them several FB pages and then transfer them over to a member of their team. Yes, for sure. So what you would do is you would simply log into their account, log into their personal Facebook page, and then create as many business pages as you want. Um, those business pages will be tied to their personal page, which every business page has to, right? Every Facebook business page is tied to someone's personal page. Um, so you log into their personal account create as many business pages as they wish, and then simply grant access, grant admin access or advertiser access, grant, you know, grant any type of access to their team. So their team won't own those pages. Their team doesn't even need access to their personal pages, to their personal profile, right? The business owner's personal page, only you had personal access because you had to create these pages. So once you do create them, then you can give access to anyone on their team for sure. That's super, super simple. Um, all you would do, in fact, there's a couple ways to do it. You can, um, you can have them request access. So for example, if I go to um, Facebook, let's say, let's say, let's go, let me go to any random business page. Let me just click on anyone, see if they have a business page. Okay, so let's click on, actually, that's actually a client of mine. Let me um, scroll to someone else who's not a client of mine. 
actually another client of mine, another client of mine, another client of mine. There goes another client of mine. I swear to God, you guys, these are clients of these. I'm in the newsfeed, fresh freaking feed. I'm seeing nothing but clients of mine. I'm telling you, man, your boy's a closer. I've been closing clients since 2016. <clears throat> so let me refresh this. Let me just see. Um, another client of mine, another client of mine, another client of mine. Okay, so this is not a client. So let's click on her page real quick. Um, and let's just randomly go to her business page. So her, here's her business page. Okay. So here's one way that, um, so, so once you log into their personal page, okay, Sheena, you go and create as many business pages as they want. And then their team member would come over to the business page, copy that, and then come into their ads manager. They'll come over to the business manager, all tools, or you can go to business settings your business ads manager, your business manager needs to be set up for this. Okay. So Google that part. If you don't know how to set up a business manager, you have your ads manager and then you have a business manager. Your business manager allows you to, to request access to other people's pages. So assuming that the team member is separate and individual and, and not within, you know, that, that account, the, the, the team member has their own account. So I'm assuming that this business ads manager or this business manager is the team members, not the business owner, right? So in my case, <clears throat> this would be a client. I'm, let's just call myself a team member, right? Now I'm going to come over to my business manager. I'm going to come over here to click and, and click on pages. And then I'm going to click on add and I'm going to request access to that page. I'll paste in that link. I'll hit that drop down. And then what I always do, you got public, there, there's certain access that you can request. So now I'm the team member requesting access to the business owner's page, right? This is one way you can do it. So I can come over here and I can request access to just the, the published content or just moderate, moderate messages or create ads. What I always do is, is request the full thing. I want, I want everything. I want managed page. I want the full managed page, admin access. And then what I would do is I would hit the blue button. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to do it obviously right here because I don't even know who the hell this person is. But you would request access and then the business owner would come over to their page and let's go to, um, in fact, let me just show you my page so you can see the business owner now or even you since you have access to their personal profile, you have access to their business page, you can even grant this access if you want. But Normally, it's the business owner. Um, you would come over here. You tell the business owner, okay, click on settings. And then click on to the left. You're going to see page roles. So right over here, you're going to see page roles. If you click on that, <clears throat> you're going to be able to scroll down. And then what you're going to see pending is right here towards the middle, right here where it says page owner agencies you'll see it right here and you'll see you'll see it won't say remove or anything like that it'll say respond to request so the business owner is now seeing a request coming from the team member okay <clears throat> so they would respond to request and then they would put in their facebook password and then now that person has access but there's one more step that team member needs to then come back over to their page to this page hit refresh and then you're going to now see up here at the top, you're going to see that business page, right, where you see Brenda's name. So right here, you're going to see now, you're going to see permissions given. But what you got to also do is add, that team member has to add their name, okay, and then click assign. And that's when you'll see that team member will see their name right here. Now they have access to control that business page, post on it, run ads from it without having to get access to the business owner's personal page. Okay. So I hope that made sense. That's, 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 that's one way to do it. Okay. The other way to do it is to simply for the business owner <clears throat> to simply come over here to page roles and assign a new page role. So they can simply type in that person's email and, uh, and add them from right here. Okay, which might make might might be a little easier. It might be a little easier just to come over here and just simply <clears throat> assign, uh, simply add them to the page from right here. 
and then you put their email and this person can publish content and send messenger messages as the page respond to and delete comments on the page, create ads, see who created posts. So they can have, they'll have full access um, without needing any passwords or anything like that. The team member. Okay. So option two is to, is to just have the business owner grant them access from right here. Okay. Um, so hopefully that, that answered that question. I could, I could create for them several FB pages um, and then transfer them over to a member of their team yeah, so you're not you're not transferring the pages. You're just giving the team member access to the new business pages. Okay, so hope that made sense. Which I know more or less how to do. Okay, by changing the page roles. But I think they have a ton of questions or even trouble posting, running ads, etc. How might I remain as one of the people on their account so essentially I could assist them with running ads or even posting content? Great question, Sheena. You remain act. You remain admin on the account as well. So a business page can have multiple people granted access. So it could be the team members. There could be five members that have access to that page and you. So now, now the business owner has, has admin access, obviously, because that's the business page. That's the business owner's business page. But then five team members and you, Sheena, have access to it as well. So you'll be able to look at everything that, that the team members are doing. So you can kind of oversee everything and make sure that everything is, you know, on the up and up ads are running, ads are approving, and, and you could track everything. Like you can come into the analytics and, and in, into the ads manager and look at the dashboard and you could, you could look at everything because you'll also have, you know, access to that account as well. Um, and then what you can also do is just like mine says over here, the business owner, whenever you're done working with them, they can always remove you. Or any other team members that are that are that have access that the business owner does not want to grant access to any longer, the business owner can always remove them. So it's not like you know once we add them they're on there forever. No, you can always remove them for sure. Okay, so hopefully that made sense for question number one. Number two, would I use the personal would I use the personal admin, the one created in order to make a business page? or use the boutique marketing business page I will create for myself to assist clients on FB? Okay, very, very good question. Would I use the personal admin page, the one I created in order to make a business page? Yes, okay? So you're not using your page or use the boutique marketing business page I will create for myself to assist clients, no. What, what, what the business owner is doing is giving you access to their page, okay? So everything, everything runs out of their page, but what you can also, what, what, but what you're also doing also is you're going to, you're going to, you're going to request access. Well, actually, I think that might be your next question. So I'll wait, I'll wait for on that one. But yeah, that's how you're going to do it. So would I use a personal admin page, the one created in order to make a business page? No. Okay. Actually, you, you are going to use yours because it's not like you're going to be logging into their account every day. No, you're going to be accessing everything from your business manager. That's why what you need to have set up is not just an ads manager, but you need to have, have set up your, your business manager, which I'm assuming you do um, have that set up. So you'll be able to run everything out of your business manager without having to log into their account ever again. Once you have access to their account, you have access. You don't need to log in anymore. You're, you're managing everything from your end, from your account from your ads manager, from your business manager and all that. Okay. So, um, or use the boutique marketing business page I will create for myself. So it's not like, it's not that you're using the boutique marketing page, your business page, you're using your ads manager. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. You're using your business manager. You're using your business manager. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And then number three, how would I charge someone for the ads? Okay. Let's start with that one. The way I started, and again, I started an agency in 2016, started going after one niche, um, and, and since then have focused on that one niche this entire time, and it's, and it's real estate agents, um, realtors, brokers, and the reason why I, 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 it's not like I even chose that niche, actually, it kind of came to me by default, um, because prior to that, prior to 2016, from 2010 to 2016, so the past six years, I was actually in the real estate business. I was a mortgage banker. So I was a lender. I was a loan originator. I was a guy that real estate agents would come to 
to get their clients approved to purchase a home. So I was already in the industry and, and I, spent, I spent six years getting mentored by, by my best friend of 20 years. Um, to this day, he still owns that mortgage company here in San Diego. Um, shout out to American Mortgage Group. But I started with him in 2010. Um, he had already been in the mortgage business for eight years prior to that. So I, I couldn't have, have had a better you know, opportunity and a better mentor to learn the real estate business and the mortgage side of everything. So I did that from 2010 to 2016. And in that six year period, I just learned, I, I came from marketing. My, my buddy and I, the one that you know, owns the mortgage company, him and I started in 1999 in marketing together. So we already came from marketing, even though he's a mortgage guy, he's actually a marketing guy. Um, and so I came into mortgages already with the marketing, you know, knowledge and, 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 and perspective on everything. And so it was in that six year period from 2010 to 2016, when I just knew that most real estate agents and most even mortgage people had no clue about marketing. Um, everyone that I was working with, everyone I was dealing with real estate agents that I was meeting, they all sucked with marketing. And a lot of them weren't even marketing. A lot of them weren't, weren't even advertising in, in any kind of way. And that's why most of them weren't making money. So it was because of my background and experience in, in the industry, which led me into 2016, wanting to focus on that industry and wanting to help them with now social media marketing, right? So that's kind of how I stumbled across it. And so when I, when I, when I started that in 2016, I would charge the client the full amount. So because, because I, started, I started knowing what these ads on Facebook were costing. And so I would just work it all into one fee. And I would say, okay, $1,000 a month, and that's going to cover my fee, and that's going to cover what we're going to need for advertising. And at that point in 2016, I was literally only spending maybe a couple hundred because it wasn't hardcore extensive lead capture. It was just to kind of do some social media services for them and run a couple simple Facebook ads, but more brand awareness, page likes, and just getting their, their, their credibility out there, video ads. So these types of ads, like ads, video ads, brand awareness ads are very, very inexpensive. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew that as I started into 2016 into 2017, and I started figuring out the cost. And I'm like, dude, rather than nickel and diamond them, rather than trying to have them pay, you know, separate fees, one fee, and, and from that fee, I can work out the cost of the advertising and, and whatever's left over would be my net profit, which, which was a good margin, right? So that's how I started is by charging them one fee. But as I started growing um, into 2018, 2019, I then kind of switched it up where it's like, now you're paying me the monthly fee, the monthly retainer. That's one fee. And then now I'm going to start running ads out of your ad account. So Facebook's now going to charge you, okay? Um, and that's what I started doing. That's what I started doing in 2019. 2019 and now into 2020 and beyond, that's how I would do it. But I'm not really taking on clients anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm more into digital courses and scaling my knowledge that way and, and helping that niche through teaching them, you know, through my video courses. That's what I'm trying to do now. So, um, but if I, if I was still taking on monthly clients, that's what it would be. It would be a monthly fee for me and then whatever they want to spend on advertising and that cost would be ran through their Facebook manager, their, their, their ads manager, right? Ads are running through their ads manager now. Now they can see everything because prior, I wasn't showing them any analytics. I wasn't showing them any of the numbers. That's all in, in my account, right? Nor did they ever ask because again, it was simple advertising that I was doing, nothing crazy, hardcore, you know, expensive. Um, but, but again, now my monthly fee, and then I'll run it out of your ad account so you can see everything. And then also Facebook's going to charge you for that ad spend. Okay. So that's how I do it. Now, what I have to put, put them, what I have them input their credit card info into Facebook and then just invoice them separately for my services. Yeah, that's what I would do for sure. That's what I just mentioned. So yeah, you want to invoice them for your services because, because that's how you want to look at it. That's how you want them to look at it. You're paying me to run your Facebook ads, bottom line. And then whatever you want to spend on Facebook ads, totally up to you. I'll manage it. I'll run them. I'll track everything. You'll see everything in your dashboard um, and Facebook's going to charge you. Okay. So I hope that one made sense. Um, and then number four. 
how would I create their username? I know FB makes you add a phone number. Where would I input this? I definitely do not want to use my phone number. Okay, so create a username for what, Sheena? Um, comment below. But at the same time, what I'm assuming is this over here. This is your Facebook username. So again, you would log into their personal profile. You would do that one time, um, just so you can just so you can um, access their business page. Or again, how, as I was mentioning, how to do it with a team member, you can do it that way too. So so you can actually. You know what? Let me go back. Let me go back to number three real quick. Let me go back to number three real quick. Okay. In this case, what you're going to do with number three? Okay, let's get back to number three really quick because I forgot to forgot to mention this part. As I mentioned with the team member, the team member is requesting access to their business page, okay? You have the business page, you have, the, you have that access, and then you have access to the ads manager. Um, actually, excuse me, the business manager, which is their ad account, okay? You can, you can request access to a page and or you can request access to their ad account, okay? Um, so in this case, what you're doing is you're actually requesting access to their ad account. Okay. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. Again, you can, you can, you can log in um, and run the ads from your end and just simply have access to their business page. And those ads are ran on their business page, or you can request access to their ads manager or no, excuse me, to their ad account. You can request access to their ad account. And the way you're going to do that is come over here and then you're going to click on. And again, that's why everything is about this business manager. You have your ads manager and then you have your ads, man, your, your ad, you have your business manager and then you have your ads manager. So in this case, this is the business manager. And the way you're going to set this up is business.facebook.com. Okay. That's, that's where you're going, you're going to want to start. And, and, and the only people who have to set that up, are businesses that are giving access to other people or agencies like yourself who are requesting access to other people's pages. That's business.facebook.com. If you're not doing any of that, then just focus on your ads manager, okay? Um, so in this case, when it comes back to number three, okay, let's come back to number three. Because again, now they're paying you your monthly fee and now you're gonna be running ads from their account, okay? but you don't want to have to log into their personal account all the time. And the way I'm telling you where Facebook charges them, charges them on their credit card, you're not going to have access to that. If you just have access to the, to the, to the, to the business page. Okay. So now on number three, if you're going to do what I say, where Facebook charges them, you still want to be able to manage that. Right? So in your business manager, you're going to go to add account, and you're gonna simply request access, just like you did with the business page. You're gonna request access to an ad account, okay? And so you can type your ad account ID or you can follow these steps right here. Contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner, okay? So those are the couple ways you can do it right there. Um, and let me, let me close this out. Um, yeah, so that's, that's how you want to do it right there. So for sure. So just simply, um, request access and then they'll get a notification and go through the steps right there. Super, super simple. That way you can, you can only focus on your account. You don't want to be logging into all these different businesses, you know, all these different people's Facebook pages. You don't need, you don't need to do that. Number one, I, 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 I mentioned requesting access to their business page right here because we're going to have facebook charge them i'm going to request access to their ad account okay that's how you want to do it so hopefully that made sense okay now for the username because you have access to their business page this is the username so i don't know what other username you might be referring to but um on any business page you just click about and you can change the username right here and right when you type it in before you even hit create username it'll let you know if it's available you'll see a green check mark or you'll see a, a red one and it'll say not available so that's what i'm thinking you're meaning by this how would i create a username 
I know FB makes you add a phone number. Where would I input this? I definitely do not want to use my phone number. So if, if you're coming across any kind of phone number like that, no, it's, it's, it's the business owner's phone number. Um, so this right here, business, business owner's username, go into their business page to that username. And if you need any kind of phone number, that's, that's the business, the business owner's phone number, not your phone number at all. Okay. So hopefully that helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions below, because again, this is what I do. And, and forever, the first couple years, 2016, 2017, into even 2018, I was only requesting access to their business page because I was running everything through my ad account and just having the business owner pay me one fee. That's going to cover my fee. That's going to cover your ad fee. Okay. One monthly fee. But as I started getting better and as I started learning more, um, the best way to do it is where they just pay you a fee. And yeah, now there's two fees. It is what it is. That's, that's what it is. You're paying me to do all this stuff for you. And whatever you want to spend on Facebook ads is whatever you want to spend. And that's why everybody has a different budget. That's why when you come to a business owner and you say, hey, $2,500 a month, it's like, dude, so what if they don't want to spend that much on Facebook ads? Right. Like what, what, what if, like, let's say for example, you're charging 1500 a month and you're, you're, you know, you're thinking that, okay, a thousand month, a thousand for you and 500 for Facebook ads. What if they don't want to spend 500 a month? Right. So I want them to pay you your worth because you are worth what you're worth. That's one fee. And then, and then whatever you want to spend on Facebook ads, Mr. Business owner, Perfect. Spend whatever the hell you want. I'll manage it for you. I'll run it for you. I'll track everything through your account. Facebook's going to charge you. Okay. And that's how I do it now, you guys. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, um, drop me a comment below and keep crushing it, man. I'll see you in the next video.